That's our first position. Now our second position for tomorrow is going to be the U in the U.S. Canadian pair. I've talked extensively about this in the Forex Weekly Outlook. Now what's happening here, we've seen, I've drawn these lines here, we've had significant resistance in this 106.80 area. Now you can see if I draw a little line here, if I use the vantage point indicators here and I draw a little line, we can see an equal amount of resistance now building in the 105.80 area. Now again, we've, we've, uh, we've closed at 104.66. We're going to look at our three key levels, 104.39, 104.48, and 104.77. 104.77, that area is going to be our focus for tomorrow. Now we can see that the predicted MACD has crossed over the trigger to the downside. The medium term predicted difference is higher, but the long term predicted difference is still saying it's in a downtrend. That's what we want to focus on. We, we can see that I've identified these little mini ranges, so we can identify also that 104.77 is a potential entry, a potential entry point for tomorrow. So what we have to do now, we have to look at the vantage point predicted high for tomorrow and again take a blend of these two rates. We have 105.11, the neural index is turned negative, that's a good indication. 105.11 is our predicted high, 104.11 is our predicted low. So one, between 104.77 and 105.11, we're going to say we're going to be looking to get into a short on US CAD tomorrow around the 104.80 area. So we're going to nail this area down to a specific area to enter into those shorts. Again, the primary trend with Vantage Point, as I with the US CAD pair, excuse me, as identified by vantage point is clearly to the downside. Now what I'm going to do is, again, I'm just going to go in and have a look and we're going to look at the medium and long term indicators and see what's actually happening here. We can see that the medium term indicator is still crossed to the upside. The long term indicator here from vantage point we can see is still crossed to the downside. So we have the medium term to the upside, the long term to the downside. Now let's have a look at the short term and see what it's actually saying. So the short term is actually sitting flat. So it's a very interesting uh, situation here with the US CAD pair, but that's why I've taken the time to identify these trading ranges that we're dealing with and how each time we hit a high, it's lower. Very important to recognize that. So my opinion is we're providing the equity and the commodity markets cooperate, we're likely to see a retest of that 103 area. Now that's our second position for tonight. Now our third position, we're going to go into the equity markets because again I'm seeing some opportunity beginning to form there. The S&P 500, we can see here that I've got the long, the medium term crossover is to the upside. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring this up so everybody can see this. We've got our long term, excuse me, that's our long term crossover is to the upside. Our medium term crossover from vantage point, uh, again running flat, but again tipped to the upside. So let's go ahead and look at the short term crossover and see what's happening there. Our short term crossover is still crossed to the downside, but it's moving to the up. So basically the medium and the long term are supportive of the S&P 500 moving higher. So now that we've identified we want to buy this on dips, let's look at our key levels. 107090, 107180, and 107350 with a close of 1080. That's a good sign. So 1070, 1071, that area is a point of interest for us for tomorrow. Uh, let's go in now to our predicted highs and predicted lows and see what we've got happening there. So we have 1064.1 is our low, 1086 uh, is our predicted high. So again, I, I don't think we're going to hit the 1064. My, uh, my opinion is we're not going to hit that. Uh, we're going we're gonna to get tangled up, I think, here in the vantage point three-day predicted moving average. So we're going to take a blended rate here. Again, it, it helps to take a blend of the two, the two main things. We've got our three day at 1073 and 1064. So we're going to look for an entry point for tomorrow around the 1067 area. That's a blend of those two areas. 1067, 1068, that's what we're looking for. And then we're again going to be looking for an extension towards that 1090 area. Now, just to point out too, our predicted uh, true strength indicator, one of our strongest indicators, is crossed to the upside in oversold territory. We have no crossover here. We're approaching the trigger, is approaching the zero line. That's positive. We can see that our predicted MACD trigger has already moved above the zero line. Our predicted medium and long term differences are turning positive, and that's what we would like to see. 
So those are the market positions for, again, July the 21st, 2010. And again, my name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at Charter.